Fortnite squad. Hey YouTube, and welcome back to another video. Today, we are going to be going over how to stay calm under pressure. Fortnite is a game filled with long periods of dull looting, rotating, and positioning, with short bursts of critical fighting moments in between. If you want to stay alive and win your games, you have to learn how to slow things down and think clearly during these quick spontaneous fights. If you have seen any of my old videos, you'll notice how shaky my aim was and how I used to panic a lot in fights. But as you look more and more at my recent videos, my aim is smoother and generally my gameplay is more calm. And I think being able to stay calm is one of the biggest things that's made me better at this game in the past couple weeks. So today, I'm going to share some of the most important advice that has helped me be able to stay calm and think clearly in my games. One more thing though before we start, I want to let you guys know this video is going to be a little more of a mental guide than a tips and tricks video. I know that might sound a little weird, but I do think this will be helpful. So with all that being said, let's get right into this. Okay, so to start off, a really important piece of advice I can give to people is when you notice yourself getting nervous, try to take a step back and realize that you're just playing a game. I remember when PUBG first came out, for example, I was really into that game and whenever I saw someone, I would freak out. My aim would get shaky, my palms would sweat a little, and I just wouldn't be able to think clearly. I was so nervous when I saw other players that I couldn't actually kill anyone. For me, what I had to do was kind of take a step back, realize that I was playing a video game, and go back into the game with a more confident approach. When you get to the late game in Fortnite especially, you can get super lost in the game, thinking about all the different things that could possibly happen. What you need to do when this happens is take a deep breath and lower the stakes a little bit. Remember you're playing a video game, and at the end of the day, whether or not you win this round isn't going to change your life. Okay, so you need to put things into perspective and realize you're just playing a game. So the next piece of advice has been repeated by many different YouTubers, but I think it's so important that I can't really skip over it in a video like this. Basically, the piece of advice is, is if you find yourself getting nervous, especially in situations where there are only a few people left in the game, you need to lower how much you value winning the game. I'll say this again because this piece of advice is at the core of so many different problems I've had in Fortnite. In order to stay calm under pressure and get more enjoyment out of playing Fortnite, you need to lower the importance of winning the game in your head. I credit this change in mentality with solving so many problems I've had playing the game. If you get to the end game and all you care about is coming out with the win, you're going to stress yourself out way more than you should be. You're going to be panic building, your aim will be jittery, and you'll just be all over the place. In order to stay calm, you've got to reevaluate how much you care about winning that game. Because if that's your only goal, every time you get to the late game, you'll be a mess. Not only that, if you only value winning, for example, playing Fortnite is almost always going to be a frustrating experience. Because if you set that as your goal, you're going to be failing so frequently that there's no way you'll be able to keep your cool. Even the best players in this game aren't winning the majority of the games they play. You have to understand when you queue into the game, odds are you're going to die. So rather than setting your goal to win, set a goal to improve your skills each time you play. This way when you die, it's not always going to be a frustrating experience, and you can actually get something out of it when you die. Think about why you died, what you could have changed or done better. This is going to significantly improve your mental well-being while playing the game, and it will help you a lot in staying calm and focused in your games. Okay, the last piece of advice I'd like to give is don't play on autopilot. What I mean by this is pay attention to everything that is going on in your game. This might seem a little counterintuitive. If I'm trying to stay calm, why would I want to think about all the little details in my game? Well, the answer is pretty simple. The reason we panic is because we don't know what to do. I'll give an example to help explain this that I used to do all the time. In the early game, I would drop into a house quickly, loot it, and leave with a gray burst rifle or some medium to long range gun. Then I'd rush the first person I saw, and I'd always end up dying to someone in a close range fight while panicking and trying to spray them down with, with my AR. So bringing this back to the idea of the reason we panic is because we don't know what to do, the reason I ran at them and died all the time is because I wasn't thinking, I wasn't planning, and I wasn't paying attention to the little details. When I picked up my AR, that didn't change my gameplay at all. I still had the mindset of, I'm gonna rush them, I'm gonna outbuild them, and I'm gonna shoot them down in a close range fight. But really what you need to do is you need to pay attention to the little details and actually plan out what you're doing. So don't play on autopilot, um, actually adjust to what's going on in your game. 
So now what I try to do is I try to process everything, especially in the early game. When I pick up a gray burst, for example, I'll make a conscious note that I have a burst and I should try to keep a reasonable distance from the enemy in my fights. When I drop, I look around and I take note of where everyone is in the town I just dropped into. The reality is, it's pretty hard to be nervous when you know everything that's going on around you, and it's pretty easy to be nervous when you have no clue what's going on, when you're not thinking about what's happening. So actually try to think through things in your games. Don't push someone just because you remember hearing someone telling you to play aggressive. Actually weigh the risks and rewards and make smart decisions in your games. If you slow down and actually think about each fight or situation you are going to put yourself in before you approach that situation, you'll be able to think much more clearly and you'll be able to keep your cool in the middle of even the most hectic fights. Alright, that is all for this video. There are so many more things to talk about when it comes to staying calm, keeping your cool in Fortnite, so please do let me know if there's something I missed or something you'd like to see me cover in a future video. As always, if you did find this video helpful, please do leave a like and consider subscribing if you haven't already. Feel free to leave any comments as well if you need help or have any of your own tips that you'd like to share. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Dang, we just go off. You have 11 kills?